Welcome to Storyflix. In this video, we will explain my old classmate. This movie tells the story of a young man, Lin Yi, a New York executive. When he received a wedding invitation from his ex-girlfriend, Xiao Ji, he returned to Beijing for the first time in 10 years. Along the way, Lin Yi kept remembering the good times he had with Xiao Ji over the past 10 years. It is known that they used to be a happy couple. How are Lin Yi and Xiao Ji's love stories? Let's find out at my old classmate. My old classmate tells the story of a successful man named Lin Yi, who has left his hometown in China for 10 years and lives in the United States. One day while in his office, he received an orange envelope containing a letter and a wedding invitation from his old friend, a woman named Xiao Ji, who lives in China. Arriving at home, Lin Yi began to pack his things while looking at an old photo of himself with a woman. He then booked a flight ticket to Beijing that day, and for the first time in 10 years, he finally returned to his hometown. He then brought a red box that contained several items that held precious memories in his life. He looked happy when he found an old pair of sunglasses and wore it on the plane. The scene then switches to the past. A little girl is seen laughed at by her friends for wearing sunglasses in front of the class. The little girl named Xiao Ji, a transfer student in Lin Yi's class who was still in elementary school. The teacher then asked her to introduce herself in front of the class. And after saying her name, the little girl loudly said that her dream was to study at Stanford University. She then sat at the back of the class and became Lin Yi's classmate. Lin Yi looked stunned at her beauty and immediately tried to get acquainted when she took off her glasses. But she then refused. At school, Xiao Ji often becomes the target of bullying by her schoolmates. Lin Yi is always there to help and protect her, even though he has to experience difficulties. And he is often bullied by his friends for defending her. As an expression of gratitude, because of the help, Xiao Ji gave candy to him. At the ninth grade New Year's party, Lin Yi plays the harmonica in front of Xiao Ji and dedicates the performance to her, which she then secretly records. Time has passed, and now, Lin Yi and Xiao Ji have grown up and become high school students. One day, Lin Yi begged his teacher to be allowed into the same class as Xiao Ji. But because Xiao Ji's class was the top class, Lin Yi couldn't get into the class because his academic grades were mediocre. Because he didn't get permission from his teacher, Lin Yi was desperate to enter the class without the teacher's approval by bringing his chair and desk. The angry teacher then dragged him out and told him to study hard to get good grades and enter the class. Not long after that, Lin Yi was finally able to enter the class and become Xiao Ji's classmate. Because Lin Yi is a friendly and sociable person, Xiao Ji often looks jealous when Lin Yi is around other girls, causing her to fall off the table while cleaning the classroom. Due to the incident, Xiao Ji injured her leg and had to use a stick. Lin Yi, who was very care of Xiao Ji, then carried her so that she would not have to struggle to walk using a stick. One day, Xiao Ji told Lin Yi that her stick was gone and that her leg had recovered so that Lin Yi didn't need to carry her anymore. Xiao Ji then handed her father's gift to Lin Yi because he always took her home when she was still injured. However, Lin Yi said that he wanted a gift from Xiao Ji. Therefore, she took him to the cinema and Lin Yi seemed happy. Xiao Ji seems to like Lin Yi, and she is the only classmate who fulfills his invitation to the protest. However, Xiao Ji did not come for the protest but to take Lin Yi home because she was worried about his safety. However, Lin Yi refuses Xiao Ji's invitation and says she should become his girlfriend if she is really worried about him. Because the situation at the protest site was getting chaotic, Lin Yi finally took Xiao Ji away because he didn't want her to get hurt. The next day, Lin Yi and Xiao Ji were called to the teacher's room because they were involved in the protest. Their parents were attending and seemed irritated when they found out that their children were involved in the protest. Lin Yi, who felt disapproved of being scolded by his teacher, then fought back against them. However, his father directly slapped him in the face for daring to fight against his teacher. After that incident, Lin Yi looked gloomy in class. Xiao Ji then encouraged him by writing something on a piece of paper where she said that she was willing to be Lin Yi's girlfriend as long as they both could study at the same campus. Lin Yi finds out that Xiao Ji wants to study at Peking University, one of the best universities in China. He is unable to get there with his capacity. Lin Yi continued to study hard to enter the same university as Xiao Ji. Day after day, Lin Yi diligently studied, but he still failed to enter Peking University. Long story short, Lin Yi, 
who was doing military training at his campus, accidentally met Xiao Zhi, studying there. Xiao Zhi failed to be accepted into Peking University and entered the same campus as him. Because now they are studying at the same place, Lin Yi demands Xiao Zhi's promise to be his girlfriend. However, Xiao Zhi told Lin Yi to focus on his military training first. When Lin Yi had finished his military training, he returned to demand Xiao Zhi's promise in class. But because of Lin Yi's actions, he was then scolded by his lecturer because he did not focus on the lecture material being taught and disturbed the concentration of other students studying. During New Year's Eve celebrations, Xiao Zhi wanted to take a picture with the fireworks in the background of her photo. Because she didn't bring a camera, Lin Yi took someone's Polaroid camera and then took a photo with her. Lin Yi then confessed his love for Xiao Zhi and again asked her to be his girlfriend. However, Xiao Zhi tells him that she is willing to be his girlfriend for only five minutes a day. While in the hotel room, Lin Yi tries to seduce Xiao Zhi into having sex. Xiao Zhi cleverly asked Lin Yi to take a shower first. After Lin Yi finished taking a shower, it turned out that five minutes had passed, which indicated that their relationship time was up. It turned out that, after dating Xiao Zhi, Lin Yi was able to improve his academic grades in college because Xiao Zhi always motivated and encouraged him to study hard. One day, Xiao Zhi's parents asked Lin Yi for help to persuade Xiao Zhi to continue her studies at Stanford University. It turns out that, after meeting and having a relationship with him, Xiao Zhi seems to have forgotten her dream of wanting to study at Stanford University. Knowing this, Lin Yi feels guilty and tries to convince Xiao Zhi to achieve her dream and go to the United States because he doesn't want her to sacrifice her dream to be with him. However, she refuses and insists on wanting to be always with him. That night, they finally slept together for the first time. After that, Lin Yi got the inspiration to make a love application. He seemed so excited to develop the application that he didn't realize Xiao Zhi had come to his dorm room. After a while, Lin Yi seemed jealous of a young man named Tom because he often approached Xiao Zhi. Even though Xiao Zhi said that Tom was her best friend, Lin Yi still felt very jealous until he and Tom finally got into a fight and Tom had to be rushed to the hospital because Lin Yi hit him. Xiao Zhi is angry with Lin Yi for fighting with Tom, so she reduces their dating time and goes to the hospital to visit Tom. Xiao Zhi then apologizes to Tom for Lin Yi's treatment of him. But it turns out that Tom likes Xiao Zhi and asks her to be his girlfriend. Xiao Zhi then refuses and says that she has dated Lin Yi and only loved him. Xiao Zhi then finds herself pregnant and tells Lin Yi about it. Unexpectedly, it turned out that Lin Yi did not want to be responsible and asked Xiao Zhi to abort the pregnancy. However, after having an abortion, Xiao Zhi had to be rushed to the hospital because she was bleeding badly. Xiao Zhi's parents, who knew about this, felt angry and kicked Lin Yi out of Xiao Zhi's life. Shortly after that incident, Xiao Zhi recovered and returned to see Lin Yi, telling him that she wanted to end their relationship. Because Xiao Zhi felt disappointed in Lin Yi who did not want to take responsibility for his actions. Lin Yi willingly accepts Xiao Zhi's decision because he had made a mistake by running away from responsibility when she said she was pregnant. However, both Lin Yi and Xiao Zhi still love and cannot forget each other. They often feel sad and anxious when they decide to separate. One day, Lin Yi got an infectious disease that forced him to go into quarantine. Xiao Zhi, who was very worried about Lin Yi's condition, then went to his quarantine room and asked him to run away from there. But their escape was noticed by the guards, who then chased and caught them. As punishment, Lin Yi and Xiao Zhi were publicly shamed for having dared to violate government regulations regarding the quarantine of infectious diseases. Time passed, and unexpectedly, it turned out that Lin Yi's love application managed to attract the interest of many foreign investors. Xiao Zhi seemed happy to hear the happy news and gave him a sweet kiss on the cheek for his success. After they finally graduated from college, and Lin Yi managed to get investors from the United States who were willing to fund the development of his application. He and Xiao Zhi decided to go to the United States together to start their new life. However, 10 years later, it turns out that Lin Yi is alone in the United States because, in the end, they broke up and Xiao Zhi returned to China. But, occasionally, they still keep in touch, where Lin Yi tells Xiao Zhi that he has achieved success, has a good job, and has a girlfriend who loves him and cares for him very much. In fact that his life is not as beautiful as what he told her. 
Lin Yi's work in the office is very stressful, and his boss always scolds him. His girlfriend only wants his money and often has an affair. So when he gets a wedding invitation from Xiao Ji, he feels angry and disappointed in himself for letting the only person he loved and cherished most in his life. Lin Yi hasn't stopped loving her, even though it's been 10 years. After packing his things, Lin Yi returned to China to meet Xiao Ji. On the eve of the wedding day, Lin Yi attends a dinner with Xiao Ji and her future husband, where Lin Yi presents Xiao Ji with a red box. The two of them then drank until they were drunk and began to reveal everything, where in fact, they both regretted their actions in the past, which made them never unite in marriage. Feeling very sad after losing Xiao Ji and disappointed in himself, Lin Yi finally left. Xiao Ji opened the box Lin Yi gave and was very surprised because it contained all their memories from their first meeting in elementary school until they decided to end their love relationship a few years ago. At her wedding ceremony, which took place inside the church, Lin Yi dreamed that he could take Xiao Ji away from there so that he could marry her. However, as a real man, he realized that he had to accept with a big heart that the person he loved married another guy who might make her feel happy forever, unlike him, who often made her cry and hurt. The film's ending shows Lin Yi, who can only cry because he has to let Xiao Ji, the only person he loves, marry another man. The moral that we can learn from this movie is that, if you are not matched with someone, no matter how hard you try to unite, it will always end in separation. So one thing that we could do is accept with a big heart. Everything we want is not always should we possess, because then we will know the meaning of letting go 